Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to put the mule through some pretty rough work. We're going to start trying to pull some of these stumps up out of the ground. Uh, I've got about 40 hours now on the mule and I got to say at this point everything's been working pretty good for us. Uh, it's comfortable to, to ride in. The kids, grandkids love it. So today we're going to see if we can actually make some heavy farm work out of it. Got a few of these stumps laying around. Uh, this one's been here probably about three years now. And we're going to see if we can drag these guys up all out of the ground. It's going to be a pretty good job. Now my plan is, is I'm going to hook up right up to the, put the chain right around the ball on the hitch there. And then we're going to grab a hold of this stump and see if we can get it to roll out. I'm going to not only lock this down into four wheel drive here, I'm also going to lock in the differential. That way all four wheels will be spinning. And uh, I'm going to use low gear. We will make sure that we're not harming the mule. I'll tell you what, it turned cold and it stayed cold for the past few days. I've got a really heavy chain here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to stay up towards the top of this stump and overlap the chain to itself. Then I want to pull out as much slack of the chain as I can. <clears throat> now, this is a pretty heavy chain. And I am, like I said, now once I start forward, if I feel the machine start really slipping badly, then I'll stop and we'll have to do something different. Let's see if she's going to bring it out of there. Well, that went better than expected. Uh, had a little slippage on the back tires. Pulled it right out. Yeah. Like I said, the back tire spun a little bit. Good. Maybe the front tires too. I think it may have parked right in the ruts there. It didn't slip much though. I gotta say, it squatted up there like a big old turtle and yanked that right out of the ground. Yeah, glad to have that one out of the ground, guys. I tell you, you wouldn't think that a small machine like this could put that much torque to the ground. But with that, uh, with four wheel drive, and differential lock and again all four tires now I pulled up a little bit and I can see all four tires was grabby so uh, what a design I mean this this thing will pull itself in two I guess if you get enough traction underneath it
a challenge. We didn't even slip a tire on that one, guys. taking a break, swinging that uh, splitting mall around the base of this, trying to break these roots up. I'm tired. I want to tell you a story though. I spent my career in the surface mining industry and we used really large machines. But we had a 100 ton haul truck stuck one day and it was loaded. And naturally we grabbed the first thing we had. Now we had a D9 set up in front of the machine and what I'm holding here, this is an inch and a quarter hardened steel chain. Um, extremely durable. And this machine would never even be close to be capable of breaking this chain. But we had this D9 hooked up to the front of this haul truck with a three inch hardened steel chain, about 20 feet long. And as soon as the tracks had slipped on the uh, dozer to pull that tr haul truck out, the chain exploded. We only found two links and the two hooks that was still hooked up of the chain. And it ended up embedding a piece of steel into the front bumper of that haul truck. So when you guys are towing or using this uh, chains various sizes, be careful. Uh, they're not really as strong as you think they are. And uh, if it does get away from you, sometimes it can be deadly. If there'd have been a person standing around while that chain exploded like that, they could have took a piece of shrapnel and possibly lost an eye or even even worse, right? So, like I said, now we have some big equipment and I gotta say it's fun to operate and stuff like this doesn't even pose a challenge to it. Uh, <clears throat> it is fun for me to be out here though, seeing if I can, if I win or the stump wins, one way or the other, we're going to the house. <laughs> Let's get on with the video. that one out of the ground pretty easy. I gotta say, uh, this is the first time I've really used the four-wheel drive uh, enough to actually get familiar with it. And yeah, it works great. Like I said, uh, the power steering, when you have it in four-wheel drive, uh, you really can't even tell it's in four-wheel drive unless you're at real slow speed and then you can feel the opposite wheel turning. So they've done a good job with this. Um, now, we had a Rhino before this one, and I gotta say, that was another, uh, it was a little two-seater and that that machine would pull itself in two so they've really got the uh, four-wheel drive um, differential lock dialed in on these machines because all four wheels pulling and uh, 
it, they'll go. And I mean, they'll just absolutely, um, I guarantee you, you stay on it long enough, you can pull the hitch out of the back of this thing. So we don't want to do that, right? But uh, I hope this video has been fun for you to watch. And it's been a lovely day outside. I'll see you on the next one.